Hey guys, some people suggested on one of the other videos that we talk about the Zimmerman thing. How about I just sit here and you guys talk about the Zimmerman thing in the comments. Um, of course, anybody who spends time looking at international uh, stuff, what's going on around the world and what's going on, would have seen stuff about the Zimmerman case. It's fairly high profile. It's all over YouTube. It's all over the internet. The CNN and even BBC touched it, so it's a thing, it's a bit of a thing. People are sort of interested in it. So, uh, of course, hard not to have seen something about it. Just not surprised. I had no intention of making a video about it because there was nothing surprising there. I mean, I'm pretty sure we've seen that story lots of times before, haven't we? Over the years, you know? So, uh, where to start? First of all, with the law thing. I sort of said on a video recently that, you know, if if people aren't happy with the way things are in their society, that they need to change the laws. It's the only way. I mean, in this case, in this case, whichever, whichever person you think was in the right or in the wrong or whatever, or whether you think the guy should have been convicted or not, the, the, the thing is that the law allowed it to happen. So the, the law has allowed... Uh, that situation to develop in the first place because it allowed it allowed Zimmerman to be carrying a gun, and then uh, the law allowed him to be tried and released as not guilty. So even if I'll get to the racism in a minute, but but irrelevant to what you think about racism or anything else, it's the law that's allowed that to happen. You know. Um, because there's a you know there's a few things that combine laws there. One law allows him to carry a gun for his own self defence. There's another law apparently in Florida about uh, standing your ground, which is an interesting law. So it means, you know, most countries or most places around the world, I guess there's a lot of states in America that are the same. If you have a choice of backing away and leaving um, or shooting someone. And you choose to shoot someone that 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 that, that you can't claim self-defense. If you had the option of leaving and you didn't take the option, so usually most places that you know it's only if you have no other option. You can't leave. He won't let you leave. It's a you're in imminent danger of dying and you shoot yourself. So, um, but also he claims he claims that the guy was had him by the head and was smashing his head into the ground. Now whether that's true or not doesn't matter. The point is that as a defence, as a defence it can be used. So the chances of him being convicted, I can't see, you know, knowing a little bit about the law and a little bit, a little bit about self-defence laws and about, you know, it's just sort of inevitable that he not be convicted really because they'd have to prove that, that you'd have to disprove what he's saying. He's claiming self-defence that he, he was in imminent imminent threat of his life so unless somebody could say they were standing on their balcony watching and and they saw a totally different scene and you'd probably want two people at least to to independent witnesses to say that they saw something totally different unless you've got that it's sort of inevitable really so so the first thing is about the law i think anybody that's really upset about this thing and think that thinks that it's really bad really needs to start campaigning against changing the laws because the laws allowed that to happen. So, you know, the laws that are there at the moment have allowed that to happen. And again, you know, we always get some dude that says, oh, you know, it's anti-guns, you're talking anti-guns, and if he hadn't had a gun, he would have had... Well, if he hadn't had a gun, he wouldn't have shot the guy. <laughs> oh, he could have had a knife or a baseball bat or a car. Yes, he could have. Yes, he could have, but... Uh, Unlikely, unlikely that he would have, unlikely. The, the, the point is that people are less likely, you can get stabbed, there's an incredibly high percentage of people who get stabbed and don't die. Um, incredibly high. Um, and baseball bat, yeah, he could have had a baseball bat, yeah, I guess so. <sighs> but, but irrelevant to what you think about guns or otherwise, the, 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 the law that allowed the guy to have a gun, that allowed, there's nothing in the law that says he can't follow someone, apparently the police said, to not follow the guy, the police said to stop following the guy, but that doesn't, doesn't mean he has to. 
that doesn't mean he has to stop following the guy. It wasn't. A, it was a dispatcher, dispatcher, you know, nine one one operator that said, you "Don't don't follow him or stop following him or something." Well, is that a legal? Is that a legal demand? Is that a police order? Is that legally enforceable? That comment from that phone operator. You know, the the I think it always comes back to the law. Whatever laws you've allowed to be in place is this is the result. So anybody who's not happy with that outcome really needs to campaign against changing the laws. The you know f change the laws. Following somebody makes make following somebody illegal or make. How about how about take away the right for people to carry guns around in public, shooting unarmed people. Yeah, whatever. So yeah, there's the legal aspect. Well, legally, you know, you've allowed these laws to be in place that have allowed this situation to happen, and then allowed it kind of be free. That's the way it is. And and if if the prosecutor uh, takes it to a higher court, and the guy's found guilty and put in jail, well, your system works. And if the prosecutor just pr prosecutor decides he has no chance and doesn't do anything, well. You know, it's the legal system. People have to take, we have to take responsibility for whatever legal systems we have in place. And, you know, the bottom line is if you want the right to be carrying guns to defend yourself, sometimes people are going to be shot. Just the way it is. So there's that. Um, I think as far as the, the, racist, the racism thing, uh, well... I think if it wasn't a white guy shooting a black guy, we probably wouldn't even be talking about it. We would never have heard about it. Um, if it was a, a middle-aged, wealthy, um, upper, upper middle-class black guy who'd shot a young, um, lurking around other black guy, um, it probably would have just been in the news, local news there, and that would have been it. And probably most of us never would have heard about it. Well, likely, it would have just blended in with the other thousands of people that are killed every month. And it would have just been one extra statistic and nobody would have really noticed. Uh, likewise, if it was a upper middle class white guy uh, who'd followed a sus looking young white guy and same thing had happened and he'd been shot, Again, not likely we would have even heard about it. So that definitely made a difference, the race, as far as the race, the colour thing, because it, it's the same as Australia. There's, it's full of racism. America's incredibly racist, you know, full of racism. And, and uh, Australia's the same, full of racism. But uh, as a result, it's a really common topic. It's sort of like, it's sort of like, it's sort of like if we talk about it enough, it makes it seem like we're not. <laughs> if we if we really go on about being politically correct and really, you know, that, that somehow that makes us not racist. But it, the bottom line is Australia's incredibly, incredibly racist. America's incredibly racist. Ja Japan isn't racist, it's discriminatory. Uh, Australia and, Jap and America tend to uh, have a lot of racism against anybody who's not standard white, you know, white, straight, male, right? Um, White straight males are considered to be untouchable. Everybody else is open for, for, for some sort of, you know, discrimination or racism or something. Uh, Japan's even worse. Only Japanese people. So, so it's not even a race thing. It's worse than a race thing. It's if you're not Japanese, you get discriminated against. So, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. So, so yeah, probably if it had been any other colour combination, we wouldn't have heard about it. So if it had been upper middle class black guy who followed a street a white sort of uh, lurking around guy and shot him, again, we probably wouldn't have heard about it. So it's just because it was a white middle class guy shooting a young black guy that, that I think we're even, we're even hearing about it. Um, and then as for where they would have been convicted, well, it depends on how good the lawyer was and how well they presented themselves in court, I guess. You know, it, it, those sorts of things tend to work like that. You know, how good the lawyer was and, you know, if it was two black guys and, and, and if Zimmerman was a black guy and he turns up in court, you know, wearing a suit and looking all, all uh, impeccable and saying all the right things and, you know, could have had the same result. It depends, really depends, you know, it depends, depends, you know, which, which judge you get and which, which jury. But again, see, it's the law. 
it's the law. When when this when the law leaves a gap, you know, and the, the law in this case has left a gap where this guy could be found innocent. Because if if for if being found not guilty, because if the law didn't have that gap, it wouldn't matter what colour the guy would have gone to jail. Um, but the law's got that gap in it, so he's just he's just walked through the gap basically. So it really doesn't. The colour's really irrelevant. You know, if it had been a different colour combination, that the chances are Zimmerman, if he was another colour, would have, would have walked away anyway, because you've got the gap in the law. So, yeah, it just... Legally, le the legal issue, well, if you're happy with the law the way it is, and you're not going to change it, well, you're going to have to accept that occasionally people are going to get shot like this. I mean, it's been going on for years. I remember years ago there was a story about, um, on Halloween, Someone opened the door and there was someone standing in a Halloween costume and, and they shot them in the States, in the States. I mean, there's, you guys know there's, there's thousands of people shot every year and, and some of them are by accident and some of them are right, righteous and, and most of them aren't righteous and, you know, it's just what happens when you've got people defending themselves with guns, people are going to get shot. It's just the way it is. So... As long as that's the case there, that you're allowed to carry guns to defend yourselves, people will get shot. So that's, that's that. If you don't like it, you need to change that law. And then as far as the racism thing, well, yeah, sure. Undoubtedly, racism's involved in it somewhere along the line. Would it have made a difference to the outcome? Hard to know. Possibly not. Possibly not, because the legally... Um, it's made a difference to whether we've heard about it. Um, but yeah, it's just, it brings out the racism that's just below the surface. And both sides too, I said that about the straight white, the straight white, white males, but, but you know, racism, racism is racism no matter, no matter who it comes from. So, you know, people that are other colours who, who are racist towards white people are racist as well. So racist, racism is racism no matter what colour the racist is, you know. It's not just white people who are racist. It's, there's racism in, in every in every uh, race. Just the way it is. Probably always will be, I guess. Hopefully, we'll evolve over time. We'll become less of it. But it's just full of it now. I think I think it's just below the surface. It's the internet's the place where you can see it because face to face, you know, like on on the news, on the news, or you know, in the in the high profile public image, public view. You know, that, that video I made before about the newsreader reading out the Korean names. As far as, I can, as far as I was concerned at the time, that had nothing to do with race. When I made that video, it was to highlight the fact that news services don't check their information or have a look at their information before they present it, you know. I mean, they, you know, some intern at the NTSB said it was okay, but, you know, it, all it took was the producer or the director to fucking read it. <laughs> and they could see that it was bullshit. Um, that's what that video about. It wasn't about racism, but interesting that 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 has stirred up a whole heap. I think the worst thing about that was that that plane crash was was fatal. People died in that plane crash, so making jokes about it, you know, within a week of it happening, is pretty low. Um, that was my point, and that news news services don't check their information well enough. That was the point of our video, uh, but interesting that one of the biggest reactions to it is that it's racist. And I think that publicly what happens, um, you know, when people have their name, you know, Joe Bloggs newsreader underneath their name on TV, they have to maintain a certain standard and they get there and they say, isn't it terrible that someone's made this racist joke? And I, I don't think that there's anything about racism in that really. I don't really think there was. It was just, just a play on the words, on the names, because, you know, it's too easy, isn't it really? But... It's, a, it's just simple humour, it's schoolboy humour and it's easy to do and it's not necessarily racist, I don't think, it was just playing on the names. But, but I think what, what happens is in the, in the public eye, everyone pretends that they're not racist and isn't racism terrible and, and yes, we must fight racism. And any little snippet, somebody says the, the N word or somebody just says some little thing on TV and everyone makes a big fuss about it. Isn't it terrible, that Asiana joke, terribly racist, isn't it terrible, terrible, terrible. And everybody, oh, yes, yes, yes. And on the surface, they all pretend to be, oh, yes, in, in our country, we have no racism. You know, in America, we're all equal. Yes, yes, yes. Australia's the same. On the surface, it's all, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but when, you get, when you get a bunch of close friends at a barbecue, 
with having a couple of drinks and saying what they really think, then you can see how racist people really are. There's, there's racists in my family. There's racists in my family. There's, I know I've got friends who've got racism just below the surface. You know, it's, it's everywhere. And the internet's where you see it because people are anonymous. So, you know, YouTube, try, try giving yourself a YouTube name like the Japan channel and seeing how much racism you get. Because, you know, most of the young dickheads don't actually look at my channel to see who I am. They just, they just see the name. So if I leave a comment on a video and say, you know, and they see the Japan channel, I get all the, Jap all the, the uh, racist abuse regularly almost every day probably a few times a week a few times a week I get random random racial abuse because they see the Japan channel and all these ignorant assholes who've never been outside their own suburb don't own a passport never traveled know nothing about the world at all but you know it's still full of racism and just bang 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 with the racist insults get it all the time you know so um, see it all the time see it all the time and I'm sure you guys do too you know YouTube and the internet, in, uh, forums, public forums, anywhere where people are anonymous, that's where you get to see what people are really made of. What do, you know, look, YouTube's incredible for it. Any video about Obama, any video at all, he's the president of the United States, you know, I would have thought his politics and, and enough, and enough other stuff like that would be enough to keep us all busy talking about. But have a look at any video with Obama and look down through the page and there's always racial abuse. There's always racial abuse, every time, every time. And, and you can see it all over YouTube. Anytime, anytime someone's not a white, um, anytime someone's not a straight white male, there'll be racial abuse. So if there's some violence, you know, YouTube violent videos, you know, we all like the cop shootout videos and stuff on YouTube, you know. That's the best thing about guns in America, it makes for great YouTube videos. <laughs> People shooting at each other, exciting shit. But then you see, you see, Anytime that there's anybody in those videos that, that isn't white, straight away there's racial abuse. There's, oh yeah, naturally it's because he's black, or naturally, every time, every time. So, you know, it's painfully obvious, and I think most of you guys will, will, will know that it's true that, you know, racism is rife in, in America and Australia and England and, you know, half of Europe and half of Europe. Half of Europe's very liberal, actually, as far as racism. There's, there's a few countries in Europe that really make make the freedoms and bullshit that America goes on with to be seem pretty pretty insignificant. You know what I mean? Some some European countries have really got it together as far as the racism, but most haven't. And you know, most countries around the world have got fairly heavy racism going on. So yeah, all this all this on the surface bullshit. I mean, it's good. We need it. We need to make sure that publicly. We jump on racism, and that we, we you know, we're publicly careful about what we say, and, and try to keep, you know, any sort of any sort of anything that might incite racism, we have to hit on the head. Of course, we do publicly, but I'm just saying that it's a bit hypocritical. It's a bit hypocritical when you know it's just below the surface. So back to the topic, as far as the Zimmerman thing, you know, undoubtedly racism has played some part along the way in aspects of it. You know, as for whether it would have made a difference to the outcome of the, the legal case, well, who who knows? Probably not. Probably not. If you if you if Zimmerman was was exactly the same style of person but black, and the guy that was shot exactly the same kind of person but white or black or whatever green, um, it's, it's likely the outcome would have been the same. But it's the reporting of it and the fact that we're even talking about it is is because of the race thing. So. Yeah, anyway, so interested to hear what you guys have to say, um, you know, what side of it you're on, which, whether you think you should have been convicted or not, and what you think about the racism thing, interested in all that. Just as always, guys, um, opinions on the topic. The topic is this Zimmerman case, okay? On the, comments on the topic, different opinions on the topic, totally different opinions to what I've said, uh, uh, are welcome, whatever. As always on our videos, totally opposite opinions are welcome but rudeness or abuse or personal attacks will be deleted. So the topic of this is Zimmerman, not me. If I ever make a video and the topic is me, then you can say whatever you want about me. <laughs> but I've never made a topic. I'm not a blogger. I've never made a topic about me. 
I mean, never made a video about me. It's never about me. It's always about another topic. So let's let's keep the comments on the topic and keep them civilized and not be not be too emotional. It's hard topics like this not to get too emotional, but emotional is okay. But personal is not healthy. So attacking the individual is uh, not good. So let's keep it civilized and uh, interested to see your opinions. More videos coming soon.